Boo! A Mattia Halloween. The movie opens with Tiffany, Diamond White, and her three friends walking past a frat house. The fraternity brothers approach them, start flirting and invite them to their Halloween party later on. Tiffany's dad Brian, Tyler Perry, stops his car, scolds the young ladies then attempts to order them into his vehicle. He is tired of telling them not to walk by the frat house on the way home from school. They ignore him and continue walking home. At home, he tells Tiffany not to change out of her outfit before she reaches home and explains to Tiffany that he has to go out later and that she'll need to stay with her mother tonight. Tiffany, wanting to sneak out and attend the frat party, explains to her dad that she is 17 and does not have to go to her mother. Instead, she says her friend today, the preacher's daughter, will spend the night so she will not be home alone. Brian calls Aunt Mattia, Tyler Perry, and arranges to pay her to babysit Tiffany and a day, Liza Kashi, for the night. Mattia is out on Halloween with Hattie, Patrice Lovely, sitting on the bench by the pavement. Hattie pretends to give candy to children by sticking her hand in their basket with a lollipop while taking a handful of candy from their basket. They get into an argument with a fat preteen, dressed as a cow, and his mom who notices their trick. However, they make fun of his weight, tell his mom to put him on a diet, and explain they're doing him a favor. A clown approaches them, accompanied by a huge jack in the box. He spins the handle, and another clown pops up. Mattia, scared, beats them up, and they are revealed to be Mattia's brother Joe, Tyler Perry, and Aunt Bam, Cassie Davis. All four go to Brian's house. Brian is attempting to take the befriend your child route and tries convincing them to tell Tiffany they were just in the area and decided to stop by, to no avail. They all tell him his parenting methods are ineffective. Mattia, Aunt Bam, Uncle Joe and Hattie sit downstairs in the living room smoking medical marijuana, legally obtained by Aunt Bam, who has a medical marijuana card. Tiffany gives a day a remote that turns off all the lights in the house and goes downstairs to play a trick on the older folks. She brings a game called Life or Death, which Mattia pushes away. A card for death falls out of the game box, and Tiffany warns them about Mr. Wilson who used to live in the house and still haunts the house. She signals a day to press the remote and all the lights turn off. Frightened, the women head to sleep in the bedrooms upstairs, while Uncle Joe remains downstairs. Later in the night, Tiffany and Aday are dressed for the party and stuff Tiffany's bed with pillows to make it appear as if they are sleeping. Lee and Rain are outside waiting for them as they sneak through the back door. At the party, Tyga is performing. Mattia notices they are missing and goes to the party looking for them. Thinking she is in costume as an old lady, several frat brothers outside the party ask to see her boobs, which she shows them. Upon noticing how lifelike her boobs, they realize she is an old lady and head inside to vomit. Mattia asks several people whether or not they have seen Tiffany, including Lee and Rain who find Tiffany and warn her. She and Aday sneak upstairs into different guys' bedrooms. Unable to find the young ladies, Mattia goes home, and Aunt Bam calls the police. The young men in their respective rooms attempt to make a move on Tiffany and Aday, but when one finds out Aday is only 17, he runs out his room and warns the other, then they kick both the young ladies out the house. Rain and Lee insist that they are 18. The cops arrive at the house as the young women are being escorted out the back door, and Tyga stops playing music and heads home. The cops insist on carting everyone as they leave the party. A day is shown hiding in the bushes. The cops go to the Simmons house and tell them that there were no underage young ladies at the house, Tiffany walks downstairs in her pajamas and insists she has been home whole night, and the cops assume that Tiffany made a prank call and let her off with a warning. Strange things begin happening in the house, Aunt Bam is in the bathroom, and the hot water refuses to turn off and writing in the mirror appears, warning her to leave. Aunt Bam and Hattie warn Mattia as they all hear noises in the attic. Mattia agrees to go to the attic and sees a clown that she attacks with her walking stick. All three ladies run out the house screaming and begin to hotwire the car. Joe goes outside hands them their bags and keys and explains that he is staying as he does not believe in that nonsense. A clown approaches him in the house and like Mattia, he knocks the clown out with his walking stick. Mattia receives a call from the preacher, saying he has a day and wants to have a word with them at the church. On the way, there the car stalls and a group of zombies begin to chase the old ladies down, so the three women run to church. At church, Mattia begs the Lord for forgiveness and confesses her sins in an attempt to make it all stop. The preacher then reveals a day. Then a day explains that the zombies, clowns, water not turning off and all the other pranks were by the frat brothers as revenge for calling the cops for their party. Hattie and Aunt Bam arrive about to confess their sins and Mattia explains what is happening. They all begin to plot revenge. 
Back at the house, Joe has the clown unmasked at home and already knows what is happening. They all plot revenge and call Brian and demand he returns. When he is home, they head to Tiffany's room and Mattia begins to pack up all her clothing, telling her she must get a job and buy all her clothing threatening to kick her out. Tiffany yells at her father, ordering him to stop letting them walk all over him, just like she and her mother do. She then reveals she knew her mom cheated on him in the house. Brian explains that he never said anything as he was only trying to protect Tiffany, but agrees with them all that he is too soft and lets them pack up her clothes. The older ladies reveal that they got strict parenting and kicked out when they were younger, having to give up the good to survive and turned out just fine. The cops arrive the next morning at the frat house and the guys go downstairs to hide all the alcohol and marijuana. They see a day's body with a slashed throat and freak out. The cops raid the place and arrest all the frat brothers, then go to collect Tiffany, Rain, and Lee. The prison van has female prisoners at the front and a partition separating them from male prisoners at the back. The older inmates in the van talk about raping the youngsters behind bars before fighting erupts in the van amongst all the older prisoners. The youngsters begin to cry, realizing they had thrown away their future when the police revealed it to be an elaborate prank. A day is still alive and in makeup. Mattia assumes the police are Brian's friends in fake uniforms, but Brian is an attorney and explains that they are real officers and that he works with them regularly for his job. Mattia and the frat boys run when the cops find drugs at the frat house and the credits begin to play. Brian is going out of town for Halloween and he arranges for Mattia, Uncle Joe, Aunt Bam and Hattie to babysit, preventing his 17 years old daughter Tiffany from attending a Halloween frat party. Tiffany and her friend today convince all four the house is haunted to get them to go to bed and sneak off to the party where Tyga is performing with Rain and Lee. Aunt Bam calls the cops when they notice Tiffany has left and the cops raid and end the party. Still believing the house to be haunted, Mattia, Uncle Joe, Aunt Bam and Hattie get chased around their house by a clown and down the street by zombies. These are revealed by a day to be the frat brothers as revenge for calling the police and ending their party. Mattia, Uncle Joe, Aunt Bam, Hattie, a day, and Brian plot revenge a day pretends to be dead, and Brian arranges to get the cops to arrest all the frat brothers, his daughter and her friends as revenge. The reveal the prank and the credits roll.